Prince William stepped out for his first solo outing on Tuesday, one week after the release of his brother Prince Harry's revealing memoir, Spare. The Prince of Wales, 40, visited Together as One, a charity in SLU that is dedicated to working with young people to create positive social change. The organization was founded in response to incidents of gang violence between young people from Asian backgrounds in SLU in the late 90s. During the visit, just a few miles from his Windsor home, he enjoyed a cooking lesson with youngsters and met young carers. Prince William sported a blue apron as he helped with the preparation of a chicken teriyaki dish. The father of three reportedly told those at SLU, I do a bit of cooking, not much though, according to the Daily Mail. He added of his wife, Kate Middleton, Catherine's very good though, he did share that he had one specialty, although he had areas on which to improve, I do a mean steak. My sauces come out quite dry or lumpy, I've got to work on those, the outing comes amid a tense time for the royal family as they face a series of allegations stemming from the Duke of Sussex's groundbreaking book. In the text, Prince Harry alleged that Prince William physically attacked him during an argument about Meghan Markle in 2019. William ignored reporters' questions about the book during his joint appearance with Kate last week. Prince Harry has expressed his hopes for reconciliation with the royal family. However, it will take time before relationships can be renewed, insiders and those close to the royal family say. For now, the royals are remaining publicly tight-lipped, with one palace insider noting that Prince William and King Charles are upset and sad but quite resilient. Responding publicly would not be the smart thing to do. During his visit on Tuesday, William learned more about the breadth of work that Together as One undertakes in SLU. He first met current staff, some of whom are former volunteers, who help to deliver the charity's work and will discuss how they help young people resolve conflict, challenge prejudice, and contribute to a mentally healthy, mutually supportive society. Following this, the Prince of Wales took part in a lesson with the charity's Global Grub Cooking Program, which teaches young people how to cook healthy, nutritious food while coping with the current challenges posed by the increasing cost of living. Prince William was also introduced to some members of the local SLU Young Carers, SYC. This was founded in 2014 after a group of volunteers from Ake Soth, together as one in Hindi, Punjabi and Urdu, who were young carers wanted to use their lived experiences to help others. They aim to improve the well-being and resilience of every young carer. SYC also believes young carers should be recognized and celebrated and, when restrictions allow, they regularly run awareness sessions in schools and for other professionals to ensure that young carers are identified, or in some cases can self-identify as young carers, and can then access the support they need, Williams' office at Kensington Palace said.
SYC has worked with 195 young carers, 11 to 19 year olds, on and offline over the last 15 months, and the number is constantly increasing as the SYC team and young volunteers continue to work with schools and other professionals to raise awareness and increase referrals. Before departing, Prince William spoke with a group of young volunteers who have led a broad range of projects in their community, including providing clothes and meals for people experiencing homelessness, campaigning against violence against women and girls, and training their peers in schools to resolve their conflicts nonviolently.